In this video, I want to talk about why you should study math, right? And it really comes down to why should you study math, right? Why should you, right? What, what, is, what is the reason that you are studying any kind of math at all, right? Maybe, maybe you're taking statistics, just a, just a regular statistics class in college, right? Uh, and, and maybe the reason you're doing it is because you want to get a degree. Maybe your degree is just a, a business major, right? You like money, you want to work with money, you want to work in a bank, and you're taking statistics. That's a good reason to take statistics, right? It'll help you in some way, right? When you're working at a company and you're working with finance, if you can, if you can make any kind of statistical report, people love that, right? People love when you can show them numbers and say, hey, this is the reason that we should do X, Y, Z. People will eat that up. Uh, why? Because you have some, some documented evidence, right? Some math evidence that something can be done to help your company, which will help you in your career and in your job. So even if you're taking stats, that's a reason to do math. Maybe you're a math major, right? And, and that's the reason you're doing math. If that's the case, then all the math you're doing is, is extremely important, right? Maybe you're going into engineering and you're taking a bunch of calculus classes. A lot of times I hear from, from engineers, uh, they say stuff like, oh, you know, once, once we go get a job, you know, we're not really going to be using the calculus. And, or they have a friend who, who works at the engineering company and they say, oh, we don't need the derivative formulas or the integral formulas. We don't need any of that, right? It's true, you don't, but the fact that you learned it, the fact that you were exposed to it, the fact that you were exposed to those problem-solving processes makes you a better employee for your company. I'll give you an example. Uh, I, I had a student once, I, I won't mention his name because he might be watching this video, really great guy, and he had a friend that worked at a software development company. And I gave my class, a Calc 2 class, an extra credit problem. It was an integral. Right, And it was an integration technique that I don't regularly teach in class. In fact, I don't even have a video on this technique. I, I don't even have a single video on my channel on this technique, none. Because the technique is just too long and I, I've, just, I've just been lazy. I didn't want to make the video. Maybe I should make it. Anyways, I gave them this integral and I outlined the steps for, for the integration process. And they took it home. And so this student, which, which I'll leave nameless, awesome guy, he, he goes home and he takes it to his buddy at work. And he shows it to his buddy, and his buddy, his buddy's name was Chris. His buddy Chris works where he does, and he works it out, right? He works out this problem, and he brings back uh, uh, the solution. And I look at it, and the guy made like, I, I, I'm getting goosebumps here, like six U substitutions, right? And he just grinded it out. He did whatever it took to figure out this integral. My eyes watered. Like I, I was like, oh my God, I could not believe the amount of raw effort that this guy, who's some software developer, who's not even in college, right, took and did on this problem. He accomplished so much. And it's that no matter what it takes attitude that, that that innate problem-solving desire and skill that you know math helps create. So if you're going into engineering, um, you you know you will need the math. Maybe not directly, but uh, it's going to help you, right? And just like that guy Chris, right? That guy was ridiculous. I never met him, but I'll never forget his solution. I mean, it was just it was just beautiful. Uh, most most people, most students, they can't do that, right? Chris could. Right? I mean, he had a degree probably in computer science, maybe even a master's degree, maybe he even majored in math, I don't know. All I know is he did math as a hobby, and during his spare time at work, the guy you know, produced this, this beautiful result. So that's the kind of thing uh, that math gives you. So that's why you should do math, and that's why it matters, right? For everyone, not just, not just math majors.